Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Seeky Enterprises. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So first we're gonna go into this P. Louise base. I am gonna go ahead and use the number six. I was contemplating using the number four, but I don't know. Do I wanna do four, do I wanna do five? I wish they had a color that was in the middle because I really like the four. Matter of fact, let's try it. Let's, let me just put them both on here. So yeah, first I'm gonna go into this number. What did I say it was? First I'm gonna go into this number six and then um, just wipe off any residue that you may have and then just pat it on. There is no need for you to, I might just use six. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I love this base because first of all, it helps your uh, eyeshadow pop. I am so used to listening to music when I get ready that it just feels so weird when I'm getting ready with you guys and all it is is my voice. So we got that and then I'm gonna go into this lighter one that I told y'all about right here. And I'm gonna, um, this is the number four and I am just going to put that right here. Like legit, just cause I want this part to pop a little bit more. I just found that when I use this lighter color it makes it pop more. So that's why I wanna have it like right here. I'm not going to do the whole face on here. I will put in the description box everything that I use on my face. We're gonna concentrate more so on this eye look so that I can make this short for you guys. I have not done this before. Um, I, well, I have done a version of this, but with different shades. So I'm going into this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette into my mug shot. Diggy diggy, y'all know about that. Like it, I have to swirl it around because something's gone. So I'm just going to simply put this in the crease first. Y'all see how that makes it pop? I'm gonna put it in the crease, put, put it in the crease, but I'm not gonna take it all the way over. Y'all know I showed y'all my little technique where I like to concentrate on that outer V. I, I just love to, and I don't even know if it's like a full V. It's like a, I just do like a, a um, angular line, if you will. And then I'm gonna go into, ooh, I I have black eyeshadow all over this palette. I'm gonna go into this proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette by Beauty Bakery. And there is a shade called Warm Cocoa right here. I'm just gonna dab a little bit because that's a little deeper than the mug shot. But I want a little bit because I want a little more like a, a little deeper brown. I typically do stuff like this, like if I go to events, like I want to, you know, yeah, usually an event or um yeah, an event, there you go. <laughs> I'ma go with this shade Bread Pudding because it's not super bright, but then it's, it's um, I wish it was a little bit more, like not as neutral, but I'm gonna go with that because I don't want a whole lot of color, but I don't want it to be like super white either. So yeah, that'll work. So we're just gonna take her, oh honey. Oh, honey. And it's gonna give the illusion of like this cut crease vibe, but that's not really what I'm going for but you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm just placing that and I'm doing it with a flat brush. I'm not rubbing, I'm just kind of patting to pat it on there. So I want this to go a little bit higher because I just want to give the illusion that I have more lid space than I do because really my mobile lid stops like right here. So I have semi hooded lids, but I'm just gonna take that brush that I use to blend and just go right here and just kind of get that blended out, make sure it's a nice line. Now I'm going into my favorite brow bone highlight, which listen, I don't even know if they make this anymore. So that's why I need to come out with my own stuff because I get so attached to something and the next thing you know, it's gone. But this is the 3502. This is the shade Universal. Um, I don't know if this palette is back. Last I checked, I couldn't find it. So I need to like check again. To be honest, I've actually used this Universal color as a, um, for the lid before. It's similar to the um, one I have on the lid, except that one's a little bit lighter, I believe. So then I just kind of blend that out right around there so that everything blends together. And then I am gonna do my liner, but I'm gonna do it off camera. But here's the thing. Now, um, right now, while I'm doing my liner, I actually get my, um, my eyelash glue ready. I use the Duo, the dark tone, and I just put it on my little mixing plate and I let it sit the whole time while I'm doing my liner. The reason I want to include this in the video is because a lot of times people say they have trouble with lashes and guess what? The main problem with people applying lashes is the fact that they do not allow it to get tacky enough. So then you're trying to put it on and it's slipping and it's sliding and you're getting frustrated. And so I'm helping you out, girlfriend. That That's what you do. Like I let it sit there until I'm done with my liner, putting a little mascara on, then I go get it and I don't have any issues 
issues. So I'm going to do the liner and the lashes and then we're going to finish up the, um, well, I'm going to do the liner and then I'm going to come back and then we'll finish up, um, the little detail work that I want to do. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So I did one eye and I decided to double the lashes up to have a more, um, you know, like sophisticated, dramatic type of, you know, eye look. Not eye look, but you know, just with the lashes. I wanted them to be a little more dramatic. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you what I did over here, but what I'm gonna add to this side is a little bit of black liner, just right in that corner. I don't need any more, but I am gonna deepen it up or my, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow there. So I'm going to take the eyeshadow where I deepen this up and I'm gonna show you on this eye as well, but um, I am going to take it. I did use the 3502 and I used the shade Rich right there. And I'm going to take this, like it's a flat, brush it's a morphe brush anyway i'm gonna go under here now i like to do this after um i do the liner because it gives me like it shows me where to kind of place it right if i did it before i did the eyeliner it wouldn't kind of give me a guide plus i never know how that wing is gonna turn out that day right okay let's just be real about it and so i take a little bit of that rich and this is a it's like a pencil brush and i love it because it's dense but then it's pointed as well and so i take it and i'm it's like i'm gonna color right here oh i this is my first time using this brush and and she's bae Oh yeah, cause it's like a pencil y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's just like a pencil, you see? And I like mine like that, but I went a little further up. So I gotta curve it a little. And now I need to do this side. And that's basically it. If you wanted to do a little glitter, a little highlighter right there, you can do that, but I'm not doing that today. And yes, my glue is still sitting here. Like I told you guys. All right. So now this is a recycled lash that I've been wearing. I probably wore like 15 times. So I'm going to go into that, use my little spatula. That is how I apply the glue on my lash. I am not going to get up close. I'm just going to give you like a, just, just basically like a little quick tour guide, if you will or a quick demonstration of how I do my double up lashes. But I just put it, well, I, it's going to be out of focus, but I just place it there and then I just kind of fix it. But I know I'm out of focus, so y'all forgive me. So I place it there, right? You see how we have one on? And then now I have a fresh one. These are Ardell 213s. So I have a fresh one. This is the same lash that I have on. It's the 213. I put one on. Let me take the sticky stuff off. So I go into that same one and then um, that same glue that I had. I told y'all, don't feel bad about letting it sit there. It ain't going nowhere. It, except when it's like summertime and it's super hot, it may dry out a little quicker on y'all, but just, just watch it. And so then I take that same lash. Now I know I'm going to be out of focus because I really wasn't planning on getting this deep, but um, you just lay it on top, lay it on top like that and then just make sure you put it on there right like look and see how it's looking after you apply your lashes you're gonna need to check your liner okay i am using the ofra verify liner and um i'm just gonna pull my eye just a little so as you see it kind of my line got a little bit hidden or a little bit buried so all i'm gonna do is go there and make it a little more defined but when you do that just take your finger go across your lash because sometimes you have product on there that's why i don't put mascara on my lashes because if you put mascara on the lashes it makes it hard and then i don't know then reusing it i don't like the way it looks so anyway the same thing i did with the other eye i'm going to put a little bit of black liner right there this is the eye look and then i'm going to show you how it looks when it's all said and done and then also let me tell y'all i got a confession to make look at this right here i'm like i have learned leave the pimple popping to Dr. Pimple Popper, okay? Unless you go and you have, you know, you get your facials done and they do it professionally because I just had, it was some kind of month, okay? And that thing was huge and I was just like, I can't take it. And then, yeah, and then now look at here. So we're just gonna keep using my regimen and that scar will be gone before you know it. I'll come back and I'll show you guys the final look. So I'm pretty much going to use um, a primer, my Lancome primer. I'm gonna be rocking this Naked Foundation today and all the other products I'll put in the description description box and then you guys can click on it if you like okay you could do whatever you like I'll be back we're back like we never left that's the eyes but of course baby oh I love it I love it keep you me confidence is key you know what I mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz Lexus or a Range Rover just give your girl a bomb see key beauty makeover